Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to review the Galaxy J2. Um, I guess it's a J200G. I was guessing to be H, but the H uh, means the 3G model, which is not available uh, now in India. All the models of the Samsung are now 4G. At least the J series uh, all are 4G. And uh, if you take a overview over here, you have the volume rocker, uh, earpiece. A 5 megapixel camera with a flash 4G branding and the Samsung branding over here. A microphone, a USB port 2.0. And we don't find a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. We have a touch capacity buttons over here, which are not by LED backlight. And we get two sensors like proximity and uh, lights. No, you, you don't get a light sensor over here, it's a, only a proximity sensor and a camera which is uh, i guess yes it's a 2 megapixel camera so it's a very glossy phone at first and it comes with a quad hd not quad hd qhd super amulet display which is uh, 960 by 540 and as you can see the phone is very smooth and snappy it gets a bit laggy and uh, gives minor hiccups uh, in between but the phone is quite good but if you uh, take a closer look over here and take a look at these icons these are very blurry and this is a, that is a software issue i guess uh, i have seen uh, in my life of modding i have been modding uh, since two years i am theming phones and uh, the rom is very clear but these uh, icon pngs are very poor i hope samsung fixes that as you can see the text is very clear over here it's a 4.7 inch uh, display super amoled looks very good compared to the 720p display is very sharp and we do get android 5.1.1 over here we don't get a marshmallow which is the latest one let's check out the software side we do get the widgets the wallpapers these are the new j wallpapers over here and these are the note 5 ones this is my favorite one just looks very nice we do get tools over here like my files voice recorder and the other things just adjust the brightness there you go so the camera performance is a uh, very mid-range uh, i will not recommend if you take uh, many photos but it's very good i had a uh, I guess a Galaxy SDOS 2 which had a same 5 megapixel sensor which was not that good but the focus is pretty fast and the photos come out to be sharp like it's a $125 phone but uh, it gets, uh, gets the job done very well the photos come out to be a bit darker but we do get a pro mode over here which we don't get uh, much of options we get a wide balance also which is good also exposure rose is over here we also get effects only four effects are there not like the s4 which has many we have metering over here and we don't have a secondary flash uh, on the front like the j5 and the j7 and the phone feels very premium and sturdy and the apps open the uh, pretty fast it's a very fast phone compared to a budget uh, the price of 8300 i guess we do get a uh, ultra -bar data saving over here yeah, which is good because it's a mid-range phone so mid-range people will use it which can't afford that many higher packs like 850 rupees per month which is very high as you can see we have data saving which uh, opera max does the same i don't know why samsung implemented it because on the latest update of my galaxy s4 i got the opera max because uh, the smart manager didn't had it we get a dual layer, layer smart manager over here like just like the note 5 which is good but you don't get the note 5 um, uh, options over here let's check out the ram you get a uh, 280 MB of RAM free. It's approximate of 800 uh, MB, I guess. 
and you don't get a full 1 GB RAM and the smart manager just works perfect so let's go to the storage and by default I guess yes uh, by default we get a 3.84 GB of uh, free data and the 51% is taken by the system apps updates and the other things like the other bloatwares also if you go to device security we have device security powered by snox and the uh, clean master we don't get yes we get a uh, ultra power saving but you don't get a uh, normal power saving over here uh, which is if you do <laughs> use a power saving you will not uh, use your ultra data uh, power saving that's the point of the samsung so if you go into a display you don't get a uh, screen mode like usually samsung devices uh, get like amoled display amoled cinema amoled photo which is very good uh, to be honest if you want to adjust we don't get a auto brightness sensor over here but the display is pretty bright and uh, you have outdoor mode uh, which samsung puts in every device like j5 j2 j1 especially the amoled uh, panels but you can't keep your device uh, uh, in this condition for too much time the device will heat up and it will also damage your AMOLED panel which is not good and many things are still the same it's downloading a software and it's very snappy phone to be honest uh, if you are thinking that uh, it's a budget phone and it will very lag and just look okay okay that it's not you do get a clock over here and it's uh, not like the s6 one we, which we get a 3d clock it's a normal one which is very good if you don't like and uh, to be honest it's very smoother than the galaxy s4 which is a 2013 flagship oops sorry let me bring it over here it's uh, currently running signage mode 13 As you can see pretty similar phones but here you have a 1080p 5 inch display here it is a, a QHD 4.7 inch display which is a 960 by 540 and this is 1920 by 1080p which is much much sharper but this is not too bad let's check out if you get a lock screen effects from the S6 2 lock screen type and surprisingly there is no, no lock screen effect option like the j7 or j5 which have a droplet particle lock we uh, only get this thing over here let's just go to the play store really quickly we don't get a much of a bloatware over here we do get all the google apps just go over here so I have installed a app called uh, Galaxy Lock Screen Effects, which pretty much enables the hidden effects in the framework of Galaxy phones. So let's check out popping colors. I hope uh, Samsung has uh, kept that. Nope, it has crashed. Let's check out the abstract tiles. Nope, nothing is appearing. Ink effect, pretty sure it is not there. Nope, and brilliant cuts should be there. Yes, it is there. <laughs> and stone skipping too. Because there are hidden on the Galaxy Grand Prime 2. It's a part of the framework. There are not basically um, effects. Nope. So Galaxy phones are now, these days are now heavily deep loaded. Even if you check out the frameworks which are not present. And uh, the recent apps are very smooth compared to the Galaxy S4 which is very laggy even if you have three apps in open i don't know what is the fault but if uh, you overclock the gpu you can get a smoother in yeah, recent times but uh, here it is very smooth but if you do heavy multitasking like jumping around it uh, gets very laggy in lesser time so guys this was my review for galaxy j2 hope you guys enjoyed also subscribe to my channel for more videos and